Hi guys, this is Michael from the Board Games Chronicle. Today I would like to present to you the third material about Bionets and Tomahawk. Yeah. But the game published in the last year by GMT Games, I already created like two materials about it. We did the unboxing when I explained the counters, also the game background. In the second material, I went through the all rules. So we really familiarized ourselves with the rulebook rules of play, what are the turns, rounds, how we resolve the combat, also what are the uh, victory conditions. Today I would like to show to you the actual gameplay and uh, the game allows for the full campaign of the five years but you can also play a smaller scenarios. Today we'll be playing the first initial scenario. Let me show you the setup for this. So each side uh, French, British, but also Indians have a setup for a particular scenario. We'll be playing a 1755 scenario. You see, this would be the French uh, units, and we have also uh, the player aid for, for, for the British ones. We already set the map. Uh, what is important on the scenarios uh, maps is that uh, the victory threshold. So, with victory threshold is one VP for French, so if they have more VPs than the British ones, yeah, they have additional points. They, they win. Uh, for the British ones, I have many more units there because some of them will be arriving during the gameplay. Yeah, you can see where they are. Uh, they also have a victory threshold, one VP, so when they have more VPs than the French, they will win the game. Both units. That is, some of them will be coming during during the game uh, turn. Uh, we'll be drawing fleets, then we'll be uh, drawing also the uh, Metropolitan Brigade and also the Colonial Brigade. In this scenario, there's a specific victory condition yeah, here. Control two or more French victory spaces. Then this is plus two victory points. The same is for French. Control two or more. British victory space. So uh, we'll start the game. This is year 1755. This is round one. We'll be drawing the cards. I have a deck prepared. This is a French deck. This is the Indian deck, and it has only one type of card, so we just reshuffle it. Then in the first three rounds, those yellow ones will be using the build up deck, and only then we'll be using the campaign deck. So let me reshuffle the build-up set. This will be kind of a solitary game when I'm playing both sides. Okay, let me put campaign deck aside. We don't need it. I don't need them right now. Uh, this will be very useful also, the player aid. It has all the rules in one place. We'll be following the action round steps, which are described here. At the beginning of action round one, each side draws two cards, chooses one, and discards the other one. We'll be doing this randomly. I will not be looking into those cards. In the normal game, of course, you would you would uh, do it in a more controlled way. So let's say we have those cards. And in the regular game, at the beginning of action round one, they would draw another card, could choose from those two, uh, and then play one of them as a card for the action round. Again, I will be simply uh, taking the random cards. I think this is the best way to, to, to play this game. It really, uh, it's really suitable for solo uh, games. I've already tried it and it's, it's really nice. So beginning of action round one, here are the draw piles. Here are the cards already drawn. Yeah. So what we'll have? This would be the British card, this will be the French card, and this will be the Indian card. So we look at the initiative, and the initiative shows us that British has uh, have five and French have four. So British has the initiative. They can decide who moves first. That does not mean that they move first. They can decide who moves first. We have also some at start event for uh, Indian, which says check uh, okay couple of villages uh, 
if some of them are British, if more of them are British controlled or with a British rate marker set to the losses to of the following Indian news. I don't think we have any of those Indian villages now occupied by the by the British now. Will not be sending any, any, any Indians. For, forks of Ohio are still French. Kitang, this is French. This is French. So no, will not be saying so. Uh, send. Uh, who should move first? As a British, I definitely uh, think I would move first. All border, all British border is pretty open for French raids. So it's good to be first. They can move lights with this, so do a raid. They can move, this is army point, army point, army and sail point. So they can also sail if, if they would like to. So uh, what we'll do, uh, we'll try to cover the vulnerabilities. There are so many of them, it's, uh, it will be really, really difficult uh, for, for, for the British to cover everything, but let us try. For the RF, let's start with, start with the light. Uh, where we can move light, and it would make some sense. Mm, we have only light here, light here, light Indian here, and light here. There is not so many options uh, which uh, we can do. Uh, most of those units are in a position where we would like them to be, uh, to be quite honest. What we can improve is just move this Washington to this space. Uh, why here? Because he is defending the, uh, the, the space with the victory points. Actually, we can move him here and then move this brigade here. They will be trying to intercept some raids which will be coming here. And at the same time, yeah, uh, we are building the defensive line. So first action point used, second action point used. The third action point uh, could be moving those, some of those units forward. Yeah, we can move those units forward here to this space or even here and build a fort here and then move with a, with a unit forward and the fourth Usually we should mark which units are spent, but I'm not doing this. The fourth army move, we don't have even enough army uh, tokens, I mean the brigades. Uh, not so many options to do anything. Uh, let us put some pressure on, on French. Let's move here. One, two, three. So this place is within raiding. Okay, and this goes to discard. I will keep these cards here aside. French. French will be raiding, first of all, with Indians. Uh, there are some nice points to be raided, for example, those Indians, one, two, three, raiding here. In order to raid successfully, uh, just a reminder, we need a flag, a triangle, and bayonet or tomahawk. Uh, where is my rolling device? One second. Uh, let me roll now. So the raid is successful. Uh, this space is raided. Okay. Two raid points for French. Those guys are going to losses. Simply they return back to home with the loot. So Indian card goes away, and when we have two French, uh, I think the French also would like to do some raid. Uh -huh. From here, it's not so easy, but let's try. The French unit will try to raid here. Of course, he can be intercepted. Interception is on flag. Here is the interception, here is the right. Yeah. Let's see if the brigade will manage to. Ah, they intercepted the French. Good, good, good. What else they can do? They can again initiate some army movement. You have all the actions nicely written down here. And so, as, as, as you can see, we can do army movement or some uh, other. Stuff. Uh, I will 
start building the defense here. Uh, as you shall see, there will be a lot of action in the future down here. So I will move my Quebec guys to Montreal. Yeah, that's the plan. And that way, we will finish action round one. Normally at the end of the action round, again, very useful play, player aid. What we'll do, we'll do first of all, uh, 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 excuse me, okay. Uh, we'll remove the spent markers. Yeah, this is uh, important thing. We will advance the round marker. We will also roll for uh, um, a rally, but we don't have anybody who can be railed now. So we move to action round two. Nobody moves from the sale box. Okay. We draw additional cards here from the draw pile. We play one. And we also play one. Of, uh, of the Indian ones. Okay, so in this case, it's 6-6. Six, six. In case of a draw, uh, the French goes first. And we have some at start events. Uh, this event will be first. British encroachment. Take two random French control Indian units from the losses box. For example, this. And place them on the respective ridges. Fantastic. They will be able to attack once again. Okay, and what do we have for the British? Round up men and equipment. Flip up to reduce British units or place one unit from a British loss. Unfortunately, we don't have anything like this. Okay, and we start with the French. We start with the Indians, so of course, those Indians. We will raid now one, two, uh, one, two, three against this. Uh, no interception and also a failure, unfortunately. Now we have a French, uh, French unit which can use two um, movement uh, allowances, so six instead of three. Let me just count this one, two, three, four, five. Isn't that wonderful target? Yeah, anyway, let's use those guys again no interception and a failure that was pretty poor from French British what the British will do mm, they will start constructing fort here so let me yes take the construction marker okay so we'll start constructing fort here and for the lights uh, now when we have those Indians free, we can move them down, one, two, three. So they can, I think they can even move here, then they can defend us from raids. And that would finish the action round two. You see this game is pretty quick. Of course, when we will have a battle, it will take some more time, but it's pretty quick pretty quick, pretty flawless, uh, you have some limited amount of actions and some uh, options, but all in all, what I'm really liking about it, this, uh, let's say, simple card-driven point-to-point game gives a lot of, uh, let's say, satisfaction to me. I like the flow, I like how quickly it, it goes. So, I totally forgot about this guy. <laughs> He should have raided there. Uh, he didn't. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, that's my omission. Mm -hmm. But maybe we can uh, utilize it next turn. Now we have Fleet Arrives turn. So this turn, this is one of the uh, logistic turns. We have them also pretty nicely uh, described here. Mm. We'll have fleets. So these are the fleets. The scenario setup talk, tells us about six fleets, out of which we draw five. So we have a special uh, container for this. Let's see who is lucky. Five fleets. 
so far, so good for British. Okay, so one British fleet has not arrived. We have three British and two French fleets. Now we draw for the uh, Metropolitan Brigade. And as you shall see, for British we would have a couple of brigades to be drawn, but a couple of vagaries of war too. So we have both three brigades. We have Vagaris of War, which says pick up uh, two artillery pieces, and we have fewer troops. That means that the troops are not arriving. And we'll be drawing three of those. Okay. Three of those for British. So we have one brigade. We have Highlanders. And we have fewer troops. Okay, not so good. That normally uh, would be removed from the play. Uh, there are some vagaries of war which come back to play, uh, like the one here. So now the British should land them somewhere. Where should we land them? Uh, I think we land one of those. And of course, they should go with the fleet. Two of those go, will go to Boston, and two fleets will go to Halifax. Okay, now for the French. For the French, what do we have? We have some Metropolitan Brigades. Uh, let me just check one thing. Yeah, everything good. And we'll draw three from this. We can be lucky because we can even get the leader, but let's see. Okay, look. Ah, fewer troops. Also, uh, the Europe do not, does not want to commit. That's not the best draw because the one with the leader is not drawn. Still nice two Metropolitan Brigades. Where should we put them? As I told you, it will be pretty hit contest here in Quebec, so I think I will at least bring one more brigade here. I'm thinking about Halifax. Halifax should be fine for now, so the second also here, and both that fleet can arrive here. So we have fleets arrive, a logistic turn done. Now we go to action round three. We again draw one more card from the build up phase and we randomly choose one. And one of the Indian ones. Again, we have a draw, that means that the initiative goes to the French. Uh, I think they would like to be the first, even to react here. Uh, so, what they will do? Do we have any at the start? No, we don't have any at the start uh, events, but we have an event that no uh, Indian unit may be activated. But we get one bonus light uh, activation for French. And we have in one army movement perform a French stack. And uh, all non-light units might move one additional X. Uh, what we shall do? Uh, I think uh, we'll build, start building a fort in Montreal. Let me just check where is it. Okay. So we will use one brigade to start building this, and then we have two light. Two light. And what shall we do with this? can do the rate or light movement. We can also do something about those guys who are here. Okay. I think uh, I will need to move some of those. I will move, uh, we cannot move Indians. Yeah, we cannot move Indians, let's remember. 
So we are moving both guys one, two, three to defend this from raiding. And the second action point will be used here again to try to raid this this point. Carlisle. Okay. Uh, interception roll. Successful. So uh, they intercepted again both French guys. Not the most successful play by the French, as I told you. Now, the British. The British will finish the construction of the fort. That's something they definitely would like to do. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, as a light point. Uh, now you see, I think we'll move back those guys, or maybe, maybe, not yet, not yet. Let me try to write with them at this point. Let's see if they succeed. No, very unsuccessful rise on both sides. And the, as the last move, uh, shall we move on forward? Not yet. We'll start building a fort here. Another British fort. That way, we finished the third action round. Now we have colonials enlisted. So a colonial troops will be enlisted, will be arriving. We would have a lot of them from New England. Some from New York, some from Virginia. And we would have plenty of vagaries of war. All of this goes into the bag into our container and we'll draw as many as eight and see what we shall get still one zero for french not much action points yet okay fewer troops pick two pick one colonial light not uh, best beginning okay and we have two brigades Still four more. And one more. Okay. Not so many troops probably as the British would f wish for, but still some. New England, New England, New England, and New England. So they all will uh, land, I think, here or here. I think we can also be in Boston. So there's a big group here. And so Virginia will be here. Okay. And on top of this, we have fewer troops, which we put back. Then we have pick one colonial light unit, uh, one colonial. We have him, ah, for example, we'll put him here and pick one colonial light unit again. So now we would have a pretty, pretty nice stack over, over here. Uh, we move now to the campaign. So we get rid of those build up cards. They go away. Now I'm taking the campaign decks. We would have better cards. We have in reserve one build-up card. To this we add one campaign card. Let me reshuffle it. Wait, I'm actually randomly choosing the card for them. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely initiative uh, which goes to the, to the British. Uh, we have to at start events. First of all, the French player chooses one French brigade to eliminate. Uh, as a French player, I would definitely go for the Highlanders. Who can reroll? Yes, so we kill Highlanders. And the French has Cherokee diplomacy. The French score two raid points. Very nice. Uh, and for the Indians, we have in one raid by Indian unit, um, the French may reroll one interception roll and the raid roll. Finally, something really, really good. We start with the decision by British. Okay, 
the British would like to move first, and what they will do? They will move those units here to this fort, and those light units, they will move north here to try to ride. This is a British play. Now, the French play. We will start with Indians. So, uh, we'll try to raid again this point. The interception is on flag. No interception. So, now for the raid. And the raid is successful. So, we put the raid. It. Let me get it from here. So, it's raided. It's for two raid points. Good, good. And of course, they are gone. And two more raid points. When we reach eight, there will be a victory point. Uh, yes, nice. The second uh, Indian, I think they will raid those smaller points. This one, one, two, three. We roll just for the raid. It's successful. So they go also to the losses with uh, loot and we put the raid here. So this card is played. Now, um, the French, what should we do? I think we should continue uh, with, with uh, first of all, uh, raiding. They will raid with those guys here. Did I add? No, I didn't add the raid for this. Uh, this is here. No, no hit. No luck. And the army action point. Army action point will be spent here for construction of the fort. The fort in Montreal. And that concludes the action round uh, four. Now action round five. As you can see, the campaign says it has a six rounds, and the moves are also and the actions are also much more uh, rich in action points. The number of action points is, is it's large. Oh, like four. And who should go first? The French think. French decide they should go first. Uh, we can do some nice raid with the Indians here. But first, let's start. Round up men and equipment. Flip up to reduce French units or place one unit from the French losses box onto a friendly home space. Okay, we can even bring the dead guys. So, they. They were resurrected for the second time. Yeah, I think <laughs> it was second time when we bring them back. So the Indians, the Indians will be raiding. Let me just count from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why not? They are raiding against this point. Finally, a victory point for the French. This is raided. They go away here. Two raid point seven here and victory point to the French. Quite historically, yeah, quite historical. Now, the French, uh, what they will do, we have a fort here, yes, we have a fort and also the fleet, so we should be able to withstand the attack. But those three guys are uh, disturbing. Mm -hmm. For now, I think it's good to continue with the raids. So that guy is raiding one, two, three against this spot. It's a hit, it's triangle. So we have another raided space. And it's second raid point. Now the British, what kind of event we have here? In one battle, in, in one battle, you may reroll 
your artillery units, fleet and fort up to free total rewards. But I don't think we'll have a battle yet. Especially using vows. Vow seems good. That's, that's probably not something which will happen. Mm. Although we, we, we might try. Mm, first of all, we'll finish building the fort for the army point. Uh, another fort for British. Now here. And we have two more army points. Let me let me move. We'll play a battle and we shall see how it goes. One, two. So those guys come here. Free brigade. And that brigade will live here as a brigade which finalizes the fort. So <coughs> fort, move, and one more army. What I will do... Okay. I will move those guys forward. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. Uh, this is the end of the action round and we have a space with units from both sides. So we'll have a battle. We resolve battle by unit type, starting with lights. Yeah, we have, of course, everything here. So uh, we start with lights, then we have a square unit with the Metropolitan Brigades going first, and then artillery, uh, forts, and fleets. Uh, the attacker, we determine the defender, the defender are French, the attacker are British. And because there is a fort, there is a battle penalty. Uh, we usually would have battle penalty of minus two, but because we have uh, the artillery, it's only minus one. And we'll be performing the battle roles. Mm -hmm. First of all, let's remember about this event that we can reroll up to three times the artillery. Yeah? You may reroll your artillery unit fleets and force up to total of three of rerolls of same unit type or split between several unit types. First, we'll roll with the brigades. Okay, so this is a miss and this is a battle point. So one point for them. Now, those three brigades. Those three brigades. And this is a miss. This is a miss, and this is a miss because there's nobody whom uh, they could hit, yeah. And now the artillery, remember, I can reroll it. This is a hit, so we flip a fort. Now the fort can fire back, and because this was a hit, we move them one up. Very important roll, would French manage to repeal the attack? Yes, they did. They have not inflicted a hit, but they scored the battle point, and in case of a draw, the defender retreats. So that was unsuccessful British attack, but it was pretty close. We would need to move some reinforcements there, definitely. Uh, okay, all units are in supply. There are no mm -hmm. No other aspects we need to cover. We go to action round six. Just add a card and we draw randomly. Oh, more rate. That's not the best, not the best situation. And of course, this. okay. I think that the French would definitely would like to go first, although they can only move the light units. They will move light units. Uh, Indians goes first. Do we have some Indians who can do the raids? Yes, we have. We can use those Indians. And they will raid. 
where we have we don't have easy pickings anymore okay I will rate with our immortals one two right yes for the third time we scored mm -hmm. now uh, where do we have Indians? We would need to move them. I will regroup those Indians. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what else can we do here? I'm just checking. We'll move those Indians here. That's for the Indians. Ah, sorry, we had a start. Flip up to two reduce British units to full or place one lost. So we will put those guys uh, somewhere somewhere in the home place now for the French we have two units uh, which can raid so of course we use that unit we are raiding to here they are raiding to here and I think this is again success yes pretty nice uh, one more point mm -hmm. the second point we are will use to move Light means all of them move here so they can better defend. We cannot move any heavy units, unfortunately. Now, for the British, I would love to move those Highlanders here to combine them soon with that, that group. I will start building a fort here quite historically. And for the light units, British light units, uh, I will rate here. Two, three, yeah. They also would like to get some victory points. And they did. They, they did get this. And we are for the interesting showdown next turn. Uh, this would be turn 7. I'm doing pretty quick cleanup. There are no spent markers used by me, nor we have any out of supply units on powerful cards. What do we have for British? British units currently on the sale box land with no landing penalty. And the French has two army. A piece of British card in play are lost. Fantastic. So this is exactly what the French will play, and they will go first. So we have the Indians now, and the Indians does a trick. They will be raiding, uh, as, as always, uh, one, two, three. It's, it's kind of a difficult if, if we to, to, to leave it. Um, Maybe not the best option. Let's try this fort. First of all, uh, the interception. Interception is successful. The second Indian point. Uh, we will try to go here, to raid here, because um, to, we don't have better points now. We don't want to raid through the spaces where there are light units. From here to here. Interception again, unfortunately. Now, the French. Mm -hmm. The French will raid here from that point. And this is success. Mm -hmm. And for the army, army move, we of course will move both guys with all the might of their. 
Now the British, just to remind you, just lost two action points due to the event. They have the light and the army point. For the uh, uh, army point, they would probably regroup here to create a one stack. And for the light point, they will initiate a battle over here with the light. So it will be a pure roll one to three. Not much deliberation, zero, zero. The French are defending. And that's nothing. Yeah, that's nothing. And the British rolled hit, hit, uh, and uh, so actually goes here, three to zero. So what we have, we have flipped and routed. And we can't flip it, we just got killed. And the things are getting nasty for the French in the north because the British just took over this part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the French can still get some nice points over here. Uh, let's see how it goes. Quick cleanup, we go to action round 8. Uh, so the French can go first. Uh, and we think they should. Yes, they should go first. And they can have a double movement. That's interesting. Let me see the events. A right to plunder and captives. In first successful raid by the Indian unit, the Indian units return to its starting space instead of being placed on the losses box. A coup de main for the French in one battle against British fort. At the battle start, advance the French battle victory marker one position and treat any by and tomahawks rolled by fort as Smith. Fantastic, especially for the attack here, which we should commit to. But the Indians goes first. We don't have so many Indians anymore, yeah, unfortunately. But there are some of them. Uh, okay. So let me raid with those Indians. We don't have better positions, don't we? No. Yeah, we don't have one, two, three. No, it's all far away. Okay, we raid from here to here. Interception on flag by far. No interception, and now let's see if we manage to raid this. No. Now those units try to raid here. Interception on flag. No. And let's see if we manage to raid. Yes. So one more raid point. Both goes here. But this is raided. This card is played. Now for the French maybe we can raid something else. So many things were already attacked. <laughs> Not too many options, to be quite honest. Not too many. It's really difficult to get to this point now, but we might try one, two, three. Okay, and the second point is of course movement of army. We can move up to 8. It should be just enough of them to this attack. I'm not sure if this is the wisest. No, probably this is not the wisest move. I can tell you uh, there's too much at stake. We'll move those two brigades and, and the double. So 1, 2, 3. That's much better. Now, we can think about move from here in order to take victory points from, from the British. It's a much better situation. Okay. What the British will do... Uh, the British uh, have a couple of options. None of them is perfect. 
in this situation. For the lights, uh, I think we should rate that point. One, two, so rating here. And they got it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, now, with the army moves, they can finish that fort. Yeah, in long term game, those forts are really important. Yeah. In the short term, maybe not so much. But as I told you, uh, we just won't like to present some of the game mechanics. Uh, for now, it should be everything. Uh, we can do one more move, and this is a good question where this move should go. Well, let's see how this battle goes. They move against them. None of the sides will have some special effects. I would like to show you guys a good, decent fight. Mm -hmm. Let's group them by unit type. Highlanders, Metropolitan, Colonial Brigades, Artillery, Lights over here. Fort, two artilleries, two brigades, and two metropolitan brigades. Okay, looks dumb. And we have uh, two rerolls for the light units. Uh, the French are defender, the British are attacker. So here are our units taking part in this combat. We have four defending, but due to the artillery, the penalty is only one. And there are no other penalties. We start rolling. Uh, first of all, we roll two die for those two light units. This is a hit, uh, at least here on the battle track. And this is not, so we use one reroll. Yes, this is a gun hit. And uh, now for the Indians. That's uh, a miss, and unfortunately, this guy I don't think he can re roll the Indians. Let's see, I will check the rules if it has any influence on the final result. Uh, sorry, we should start rolling, of course, from the attacker, but while I started with the defender, let me let me finish it already. Uh, we have two metropolitan brigades. Oh my goodness. Two misses, and we have two colonial brigades, and this will be two hits if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and they will hit Highlanders and kill Highlanders, but uh, of course they will still have possibility to fire because it's simultaneous. Now uh, two artilleries. And they have um, those two hits, of course, progresses here. But yeah, this progresses here one. And this is a hit, and it goes against enemy artillery. Progresses one more. So two hits here, two hits here, and two hits here. Mm -hmm. Now the fort. And the fort also hits, and it kills the artillery. Oh, a bloody, a bloody battle. Let's see what the British will do. First of all, they still have a Highlanders. They roll and they hit. And I think, uh, no, there is no um, militia here. Mm, there is no hit because we are not above zero, but there is a point. Now, two regular brigades. That's a hit and that's a hit. And uh, those are true hits. So this enemy is killed. Move to up. Now four colonial brigades. Uh, these are the misses. This pro moves us up. And this uh, other brigade will remove one enemy militia. Nothing. Okay. And the last Roll is by 
artillery which hits and which uh, first of all flips this artillery so guys it looks like the British were routed you see there is a difference of three uh, they lost the battle and they were routed those guys are killed those guys are killed and those guys are killed. important thing because we have killed uh, metropolitan brigades we should draw special tokens with victory points okay that one is zero for british normally nobody would see it but this is a solo game so <laughs> let me flip it even now and we'll have zero for french they can be from zero to two zero one two and they can really change a lot in the game so they come back here beaten smashed and routed mm -hmm. here we have also pretty beaten units not much of let's say offensive power left in French but at least they managed to survive uh, by the way I should not move back that far away we just move back here a very interesting round now let me just see about the route rally yeah end of turn we discarded the cards we remove spent landed Marshall markers, supply check, rally. A uh, routed stack rolls one die plus bonus dice equal to rating of a commander. Uh, this commander, by the way, is here. Uh, okay. On flag, we'll remove the routed marker. No, so we remain routed. Last turn. So far, the French are victorious, but as you can see, there is an easy way for the uh, British to take some victory points from here. So it will be exciting last turn. Iricosi diplomacy. Okay, perf perfect volley. So a lot of events. Now I can remove all of those cards because we will not be using them anymore. And let's resolve the last turn. The British would like to go first, that's for sure. And they will save one action point, army action point. That one, let it be. What events we have? Ericos diplomacy, if French VP is for or greater, no. Uh, stage uh, lacrosse game in one raid by Indian unit. <clears throat> if a fort is the only British unit on the raid space, it is removed from your play upon a successful raid roll. Fantastic! Let's do it. So, what we gonna do? Um, we'll be raiding as French, but in a moment. The British first has uh, their three moves, so they will move one of those units here. Ah, they cannot reach this fort, you see. Uh, first of all, I will move the stack here, just for the safety. Mm. I will move here and drop them on the on the road. Yeah, so dropping two, three units here and taking uh, let me just change the composition what i'm planning to do is defend both those victory spaces beef against those indians good uh, the second army point would be to move those guys of course dropping them on the road here Gaining three points, one, two, three British points. Not raided, but victory points. Mm -hmm. That's a huge blow. 
but well, what we can do. And uh, the third one, the third move by the British. Uh, do we have any good option? Not necessarily. Uh, we'll move those guys up. Actually, no, we'll move those. Okay, just to move forward. Now, uh, for the for the Indians, we are just two victory points away from another point, so we should try uh, to get it. Uh, we can rate this point from here. One, two, three. No interception, and we got it. They go to the losses, but the space is raided. And we have one red point. And now this right, uh, this right will be. We could write this. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Now, what better option do we have? Two, three, four, five. Let's write with this guy here. I don't want to do this. Thing. Fourth rate. Yes, yes, and one more time. Yes. The border is in flames. One, two. Another victory point for French. Mm -hmm. I just would like to remind you that one settled space is already occupied by the French, and if they manage to occupy uh, two victory point spaces are occupied, and if they manage to occupy or keep them like this, <clears throat> they will have two additional victory points. So these were the French, and now um, the Indians, and now the actual French. They don't have too much to do. We cannot reach those areas here. We'll not get here. The rating probably will not bring any more benefits, but who knows? Who knows? And because who knows, let's try to rate with those guys. One, two. Interception on flag. Ah, pity. So another light. Interception on flag. Yes, both were intercepted. And as for the army movement, I don't think they have any, any, any good army movement. They can potentially can move here, one, two, three, and declare the battle. Yeah. So we have battle, a die against a die. Defender are British. We score a hit. And the attacker are the French. We don't score a hit, so the defender one, but this was taken out from them. And the last saved British point. Do we have anything better which can be done by them? No, I think they will just finish. They could potentially raid something, but yeah, there is not, not, not much choices. Nothing good. Maybe last last attack just for fun here let's see how this battle will go maybe the british will get lucky or maybe not doesn't seem to have much chances but you never know let me roll uh, for the um, uh, defender we are on zero, there is no one. If there is artillery, so the British are on minus one only. And the attacker are British. The lights, nothing. The brigade, yeah, I got it. And the artillery, uh, let me see what that means for artillery. No, there are no enemy brigades. Lights on French side. Nothing. Fort. 
nothing. Oh, interesting. And the heat. Yeah, there is a heat. Uh, so the French one. The attack didn't succeed. And that will be the final situation on the map. Mm -hmm. uh, due to the special conditions, the British are getting two more victory points. So up to three. And that will conclude our scenario, 1755. And we would have winter quarters still, but not in a one year scenario, we don't, don't do it. Uh, it was a really close game, very interesting uh, fight here. The whole border in flames raided, but uh, the French, actually, uh, the British actually managed to get into Acadia and, and really, really raid it and occupy it. So that's something probably which uh, which is interesting. Here I'm not sure if we would not have a militia. Fighting, I would not. I would need to check in the rules. I really hope I didn't make too many mistakes. I hope you like this uh, short video. This is truly beautiful and a very interesting game. I strongly encourage you guys to familiarize yourself with it, to play it, and to give it a try. Remember, <clears throat> if you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for today and hear from you soon.